It's called Ga Guan Gen Ga Guan Gen Dam, and then Els Elsa Louis Elsa Louis. <laughs> We've just parked up in this little pull-in, and look down there. Let's get over this barrier. Look at that. <laughs> I'm led to believe the dam is this way. Well, they haven't emptied the rubbish yet, but I suppose it is quite remote. But let's have a look at the board and see what it says. They are Gran Grangent. So I assume, yeah, it's a hydro dam. Because I saw EDF and I was like, that's power. So then, yeah, and then you see this and without even translating it, that is a hydro dam. Clean power. That's good, that's good. Let's have a look what this sign says. Information. So we are here. It looks like there's loads of castles and chateaus all the way down. I mean, I'm sure you could stop here. It's not exactly busy. I mean, if it was maybe Saturday or Sunday, that might be a bit busier. Look at that. Look at that house. It looks like someone actually lives there. Can you imagine if that was your house? That's all your island. That would be awesome. <laughs> what a view. I bet it's grim in the winter, though. <laughs> Trust me to be like, yeah, I bet it's grim in the winter. I just want to have a little look. This could be, like, you know, the end of me, I suppose. But, I mean, this looks like a bit of a trail. I mean, I'm not right on the edge. Yeah, that's a trail, surely. I mean, this is a bit steep now. Probably a bit stupid. <laughs> but I really want to go there and just stand there. Well, I'm going to put the camera away. <laughs> and I'm going to try and get there. <laughs> I've just thought, hey, let's get more cameras on the situation. So I now have the drone and I'm going to fall. Well, I'll get the drone to follow me. And at least I've set the home point here. So if I do roll off and fall off the cliff, the drone will come back here eventually. And then someone will find it and see exactly what happened. Whoosh. Awesome. What a view. Still can't get over that house over there. It's so perfect, it's brilliant. I've only got a boat going past now. How cool does that look? I saw it come in. I assume it's gonna go maybe back round that way. It's gonna sit down and enjoy it. Now that was a great way to spend a couple of hours. The views up here are amazing. And just sitting out there, looking out. In my mind, like, you see in the movies, there's these great epiphanies and great epic moments of contemplation. And, and, and they, I mean, I don't even know if I've said the right words. But uh, they sit, they, they, they come to these places and then they're like, you know, the world comes to them and the thoughts come to them and all this and that. And great, powerful things and everything. And it's like, <laughs> I haven't had any of that. I've got my friend Brian here. Yeah, we Hi, Brian. You don't need anything else if you're late. Let me alone. Yeah, Get out of my face. So yesterday, when he dropped this... Number one, lift to the airport. Right, I have pulled up uh, close to the restaurant I want to visit tonight. Um, and there was two ways I could... There was a multiple ways I could have gone here. I, I actually decided to um, use a toll road. I didn't know how much it was going to cost me. Um... But the, the routes that it was showing were really through the hills again, really through the mountains, <laughs> up and down, up and down. And uh, I've done I've done that the other day, and it was great. And but today I just I just want to get to to my location. Um, I probably missed some amazing scenery. I really did. I know that. Um, but yeah, it is a lot. It is a lot of work drive. I know it sounds weird, but it is a lot of work driving up and down them hills. Um, and through them tight, tight little um, towns, you've uh, you've really got to be uh, on 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 your game, and yeah, not not just relax and drive. Um, 
which I quite like to do to sometimes, and that's what I did today. So I got on the uh, toll road, um, put my podcast on, and just chilled out. Just chilled out. Um, and then, although the toll roads are a bit of a faff, because obviously that's on that side, not this side. So I have to get as close to it as possible, do the window down, then quickly oik over, and then grab the ticket, and then quickly get back. Um, and then I had a bit of a pain when I actually got to pay. Um, it, I put my ticket in and it was rejecting it. It was just not not working. So I had to press the help button, and then they just looked at my camera, I suppose, and just pressed class two. Um, and then I said, thank you. And then they said, okay, enjoy your day. <laughs> and then I paid. It turned out it was seven euros, so... It was quite a long road I was on, so it isn't too bad. I mean, you know, it's it's amazing that they don't tell you. Like, you don't get on the road and it tells you before you get on the road. Like, you know, we've got Dartford and all that, Dartford Crossing and that. And that that will tell you. And so will, like, uh, the M6 toll road. That will tell you before you get on it how much the big, you know, they've got a big board and how much it is for, for each person. So you know, or for each vehicle, sorry, so you know um, what to expect. I mean, I was on there thinking, well, it could be, you know, it could be one euro, it could be 20 euros. Um, so yeah, just hope for the best, but right. I'm here, I'm gonna go into a quick shop and then gonna go eat. Now, I would never normally park like this. I have tried parking normal. I did try it in multiple spots over there and here. I stick out way too far, I stick out. <laughs> it, people were looking at it and it was like, it looks stupid. So this car park isn't that busy. Um, I'd never park like this if it was a busy car park. But as you can see, there's spaces everywhere. And then there's tons of spaces all over there and all the way around. So driven to this town because there's a restaurant here. It's a buffet restaurant, but it looks next level on uh, Google reviews. It's got... Um, it just looks like like the cheese section looks massive and there's a grill section and then there's a um it just looks off the chain i know it's a buffet and that and i actually haven't eaten today yet i don't i had that pork last night that curried pork and that done me and then i just get up and i'm not really in the mood to eat or cook or anything at that in that in the morning and then i start cracking on with stuff and then it gets to a point where i'm like I'll just wait till dinner. Um, so I'm going to go into Decathlon because that is Decathlon there. Have a little look around, see what fishing gear they got. I'm sure they've got better stuff than us. Uh, then come out, probably chill out for half an hour. Then go park up at the restaurant. And then, yeah, and there are a few park ups around here for if I need to. But I might just stay at the restaurant if it's a big enough car park. So their Decathlon is definitely cooler than ours. <laughs> it's actually got ammunition proper rifle rifle ammunition look look at it shotgun shells rifle ammunition scopes gun bags <laughs> oh their decathlon is definitely better than ours that is proper good stuff in there the fishing station's packed loads of stuff in there compared to ours pretty cool all right this is the place le buffet Cuisine de Mondo, cuisine of the world or food of the world. Um, a little bit windy there. Uh, this car park was empty when I got here and then I've seen a queue of people out here a minute ago. It opened at seven, it's now quarter to eight, so I thought I'd wait for a little bit, let, let them get going and whatnot. And now I am starving. So let's get in there and get some food. This place is huge. It could be a lot more people in here because obviously these are empty, but it's looking really busy, like popular. So uh, let's go have a look. Okay, this place is crazy. I've just started off with a real small selection of uh, sushi and that, just to start with. I, I, there's so much down there. Oh, I can't wait to sh sh for you guys to see this. It's brilliant. And look, it's only like 21 euros. Just look at the people in this place. There are tons of people. It's a good restaurant, man. They've got a whole dessert station over there. <laughs> oh, this is great. Okay, so I got something off the 
wok and the grill. So some nice chicken breast and a lamb chop and noodles in a pepper sauce um, on in the wok. So it's great down there. They, they've just they've just brought loads more steaks out. I might get a steak on the grill in a minute. Um, because they can. Just look at it. You've got oysters, you've got prawns, you've got whole crabs, you've got snails. All your sushi, which I've seen the guy make it already. Salamis, chorizos, your palmas. You've got cheeses, so many cheeses. Then you've got all your fried food. Wings are good. And you've got your noodles and your rice. And it just goes on and on and on. Raw prawns, scallops, mussels, fish, chicken and kebabs, more king prawns. All ready for cooking on the grill over here. Lamb chop, steaks, chicken, salmon, ribs. That looks like gammon. And then you go into the whole dessert section. Look at this. So you've got all these fruits, all the donuts and cakes and cheesecake and fudge cake. A whole chocolate fountain and then a whole sweet wall. That was brilliant. That was a really, really good buffet. I mean, the stuff that they had going on there was unreal. There's the uh, menu once more. But yeah, it was really, really good food. Um, you got the grill, you got the wok, you got the griddle. And then, this, I mean, if you're a seafood lover, I mean, there's so much seafood. You can have half a crab. You can, you can have the amount of oysters. This table next to me um, was a guy and his two, I assume his daughters, um, and they must have been about, I don't know, 8 and 12, 8 and 10, something like that. And this 10-year-old, she, she was a seafood monster. She went through so many oysters. It's unreal. The shells were just piling up. <laughs> I mean, I don't eat oysters, but she, she was going through them. I'm going to try my luck at parking here. I might turn around because I'm slightly on a tilt. So it'd be better to face that way so my head's facing here. And then they can only kick me out and then, and then I go drive somewhere and just have a late night, I suppose. So, um, but if they do kick me out, then over that side, there is car parks galore. I'll just go straight over there. It wouldn't be a problem. Right, good morning. Well, it's just turned lunchtime. <laughs> I've been doing some work in the van, but this park up was very successful. No one bothered me last night. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not the most glamorous of park ups, don't get me wrong. Um, but, I mean, can't get closer to a buffet than there. <laughs> Um, yeah, I did spin it around. I was, I was there. I'm slightly tilting. My head's here. No one, no one come and bothered me. No problems. Now I'm gonna go grab a few supplies, probably a French stick, and then I'm heading off to Park for Night, which I'll be at Park for Night tomorrow at their head office and then hanging out with them. Um, I think I'm gonna go for lunch with them do some uh, work in the office with them, um, maybe an interview or something, um, and then go to a dinner with them, I think. So yeah, should be good, should be good. Just driving along this massive expanse of, I'm assuming it's a river still. My home's just parked up behind me. Let's go and have a little look. It looks awesome. This was the first bit I could pull in. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. It's brilliant. I do love finding these little places. Just pulling over quickly and have a little stop and look. It's great. I am all parked up in this nice free air. There's five spots and there's uh, free water, free dump station, grey waste, black waste, and there's also a tap as well to wash stuff and then you've got bins all free and five parking spaces with that beautiful backdrop of vineyards i mean come on that's banging so i am in on the outskirts of Valencia, valence 
in the Ardèche, um, just on the outskirts. Bonjour. Park for night are literally the head office is about two and a half kilometers that way. I'm going to stay here tonight and then tomorrow I'll make my way in, ready to go meet them for lunch, go for lunch with the team and then go back to the offices and do this, that and the other. Um, I'm going to whack the aircon on in front of me. I'm not trying to get the whole thing cold because it is roasting right now and obviously there is no shade around here. So I just want the aircon all up on me keeping me chill i don't care about the rest of them at home as long as my little zone my little area is chill i'm good i'm down with that i can then crack on and do some work i've got a to-do list the size uh, i've got the two the to-do list is so long i need more arms I need, that's how long the to-do list is um gonna crack on with some of that and then, yeah, chill out. And I think I've got some wings for... I, I stopped um, at like a little Turkish shop. And I've got some wings. So I'm going to cook them up tonight. So I have a plate full of wings. I asked if they were spicy. He said no. And <laughs> I done the international... <laughs> and he went, no, 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 no. So we'll find out. <laughs> you heard, just heard that. That's the ice maker dropping ice cubes. <laughs> i got a nice Pepsi Max. I've got the aircon running at me, blowing a cold breeze all over me, which I'm loving. I just want to feel cool, and I feel cool right now. I am venting the hot air, so that is going out. And the only thing that's costing me is power. And I've got bundles of that because the, 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 sun, the sun is shining, mate. The sun is shining, guys. So I've got bundles of power. got... Ice cubes from the power. We've got air coming from the power. We've got the MacBook running. We've got everything running. All sweet. Wings for tonight. Let's have a look at them. Here we go. So they're nicely marinated. I'm not actually sure what, to be fair, but they look pretty good. I'm going to whack them in the air fryer now and then see what they turn out like. Now, you guys know I like mine done quite well, so I like the skin a bit crispy, but they look banging. I haven't really shown you this, but that's all the oil that I just got out of the grate. I'll show you inside. They sit on that grate, and then I just poured all that oil straight out and into there. There's quite a lot of oil. I let that go cold and I throw it away, but you are being a bit healthier by using an air fryer. There is a major storm coming in. 